Surely flying can't get more comfortable. It can, and don't call me Shirley. Accidentally falling asleep on a fellow passenger's shoulder will be a thing of the past. That is, if Boeing's patent for a transport vehicle upright sleep support system is approved. Boeing's invention, dubbed Cuddle Chairs by Geek Wire, will consist of backpack-like contraptions that passengers can pull out from under their seats to rest their head and chest on, making comfortable air travel accessible to all. All right, so basically, uh, the future, it's a fine line between flying on an airplane and fucking a robot. That seemed like... <laughs> what it's going to be. Um, I want to do this story because when we've done stuff about planes, I don't like to fly in general. I always, every time I've ever flown, whether drugged or not, I have a moment thinking that that's it. You know what I mean? And it's all over and did I do everything right and all that. But we've all had the people sleeping on us. We've all sat in the middle, all that. So this is, this is pretty good. This is a nice little something. Do you want to be strapped in when, when they get you? Would you like to be strapped in oh, to the God, seat? No. You don't want to be strapped no. in? No. That scares you. That does not look comfortable, first and foremost. Yeah. Like, this is not a great way to sleep. I, yeah. I, I Especially, like, when you're traveling, you know, here to New York or something. Six hours of this? Yeah. No. Um, I, I, just stop trying to squeeze more chairs in and make all the <laughs> seats tiny. And yeah. then you won't have to make a cuddle chair. Right. Just make the chairs that you have actually comfortable. So is Take that out one row. Just one. Right. So then, is that really is that really the thing here that they want to squeeze every dime out of us so the seats oh, keep I mean, getting smaller and now they're going to strap us in? Yeah. And, but I mean, it works into our favor too. I mean, the more people that can fit on a plane, the cheaper tickets are going to be. Yeah. And it's already pretty expensive as as it is. So I would trade the the money for any sense of comfort, anyways. For a six um, hour flight, I can't trade. Yeah, no. but I mean, but, but a six hour flight, what are you can like lean up against the the side or the window or the like window. fall into the aisle or, yeah. or sleep on the somebody. I I don't know. Like I try to sometimes sleep on the tray table which never really works out. Right. But I curl up into a little ball anyways and, and normally make it work a little bit. Mm. But I feel like that, that would, I don't know, I, would, I wouldn't mind, like, you know? Yeah. Because I could, like, put my knees up and then kind of, like, I don't know, that'd be comfortable. Have you guys ever had, like, one of those really bad experiences? We've all had the kid crying kind of thing or someone kicking your seat. But have you ever had something really bad, like someone sleeping on you or, like, I just, I flew this week, there was someone within three rows that was farting constantly. You know what I mean? And we're trapped in a tin up there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just wanted to open the door a little. Just See, let it out a little. You know? th they need to invent something for that. That, that would be something. Because I have a friend, Heather, you know what you did, <laughs> who blows up planes every time. Not that way. Yeah. Don't think. Oh, okay. Seriously, like, yeah. they need an invention for that. For yeah. her ass. Or all asses like that. Like some sort of cushion that would... That would just absorb it? Yeah. Or send it back into her? Well, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, that's um, weird. Have you ever had one of those just like terrible <laughs> flying, just something? Yeah, it seems like I always get stuck in the middle with people who like to like really lean over on that's their side of the armchair. <laughs> so then I'm like sitting in the middle kind of like this, mm -hmm. like not sure. Like if I want to eat something, I kind of have to like do like one of these type of yeah. maneuvers. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind a cuddle chair because then I could at least like lean forward and avoid all of that. Mm -hmm. so yeah. doing but it seems kind of gross honestly too at the same time because everybody's like cuddling with the same thing Ooh. yeah you know? and then you put your face in the little hole like even whenever I go to like if I have to go to a chiropractor or like a massage thing or whatever you put your face in it it's like I always kind of hesitate because it, it grosses me out especially when people sleep they drool so what are you like oh, like a, like a put your face in well that. I'm sure it's there's really gonna gross. be some kind of disposable no, not. no disposable not I, all right I don't know anyway what do you think are you comfortable on airlines as is do you like the guy sleeping on your shoulder? Have you ever met anyone that way? Uh, let us know in the comments right now.